Welcome to Kelowna. This is a short presentation to help pilots navigate YLW airspace. Many pilots are nervous about entering controlled airspace. They are afraid they might do something wrong and have the controller chew them out. This couldn't be further from the truth. The controllers are there to help you navigate the airspace safely. So let's get started. Kelowna, or YLW, is situated in the heart of the Okanagan Valley. Kelowna is the least windiest place in Canada with an average wind speed of 2.8 knots. Kelowna has one runway, 16 and 34, with a length of 8,900 feet. Kelowna is Class D airspace and a Mode C transponder is required to enter the airspace. Kelowna can be accessed by four different routes through the Rocky Mountains, as well as access from the coast. The first is the northern route, via the Pine Pass and Prince George. Kelowna is a four-hour flight from Grand Prairie, or two and a half hours from Prince George. Kelowna is also accessible via Hinton and Jasper, and is a two-hour flight from Hinton. The third route is from Calgary and through the Rogers Pass. This is a two-hour flight from Calgary, and is faster if the weather is clear and you can fly direct to Kelowna. The southern route is from Pincher Creek and through the Crow's Nest Pass. This is a three-hour flight from Lethbridge if you follow the VFR route. The southern route has two different arrival points into Kelowna. Highway 33, which is not a published arrival point, or west to Soyuz and north up the Okanagan Valley to West Bank. The airspace around Kelowna has an odd shape, and the airport is located in the middle of the control zone. Arriving at Kelowna can be from any direction, north, south, east, or west. There are three published arrival points into Kelowna, Fintry, West Bank, and Mission. Another arrival is Highway 33, and we'll discuss this later. Fintry is a northwestern arrival point. Fintry is located on the western shore of Okanagan Lake at 50.23 degrees north and 119.5 degrees west. Fintry is easy to spot from the air, as it is a point of land that sticks out into Okanagan Lake. When arriving from the north, there are a couple of airports on the way, Salmon Arm and Vernon. Vernon is the closest to Kelowna and is located approximately 17 nautical miles north of Kelowna and 5 nautical miles east of Fintry. Before arriving at Fintry, make sure you get ATIS on 127.5. Contact the tower before Fintry on 119.6 and report your position. Arrive at Fintry at 3,500 feet. The tower may advise you to fly direct to the airport or do the Fintry arrival. The Fintry arrival consists of flying down the west shore of Okanagan Lake to a point of Beam McKinley Landing. 49.95 degrees north and 119.5 degrees west. You should remain at 3,500 feet until cleared by the tower. When you arrive at Beam McKinley, you must report to the tower that you are a Beam McKinley and wait for further instructions. When the tower clears you, you will turn left and head towards McKinley Landing and YLW. McKinley Landing is located 3.2 nautical miles west of the midpoint of the airport. The tower will also clear you for a right downwind for runway 16 or left downwind for runway 34. Depending on the amount of traffic at the airport, you may also be directed to fly across midfield and do a left downwind for runway 16. West Bank arrival is from the southwest and is over the town of West Kelowna. Arrive over the town at 3,500 feet. Contact the tower on 119.6 for instructions. Don't forget to get ATIS on 127.5 before contacting the tower. The tower may ask you to report the bridge. The floating bridge is between Kelowna and West Kelowna. Fly directly to the bridge, report over the bridge, and there you will receive further instructions. There are a couple of routes that you may be asked to fly. You may be directed to join the mission arrival. This route will take you north along the east shore of Okanagan Lake to McKinley Landing. You will fly this route at 3,000 feet. Once you arrive at McKinley Landing, you will turn right once directed. 
The arrival will be the same at this point as it was for Fintry arrival. Downwind right for runway 16 or downwind left for runway 34. From mission arrival or west bank arrival, the tower may clear you direct for right base for runway 16. If this is the case, fly direct to the runway for the right downwind. You may also be cleared for left base for runway 34. Follow Highway 97 towards the airport and join left base for runway 34. Mission arrival is the same as West Bank arrival once you get to the bridge. The difference is the arrival point. Mission arrival is located on the east shore of Okanagan Lake, 49.83 degrees north and 119.5 degrees west, which is southwest of the airport. If you are arriving from the east on Highway 33, you may be asked to do the mission arrival or, depending on the traffic, you could be cleared for left downwind for runway 16 or direct runway 34. If you are directed to fly the mission arrival, fly to 49.83 degrees north and 119.5 degrees west at or above 3,000 feet. Once you get to the arrival point, you will fly north up the east shore of the lake towards the bridge. Report the bridge where you will receive further instructions from the tower. From this point, the routes to the runway are the same as West Bank arrival. North up the lake to McKinley Landing. Direct midfield for runway 16 or 34. Direct left base for runway 34. Don't forget to get ATIS on 127.5 before contacting the tower. Flying into Cologne is easy, and if you have any problems, remember the tower is there to help. Just ask.